What is going on, beautiful people? Uh, I just spilled water on the carpet. Just don't mind that. Anyways, I'm filling up this big garbage can full of lukewarm water right now, and I'm also filling up this tote. That's about done. Right temperature. What we're going to be doing today is soaking some of the snakes. Your favorite, Kevin, and this new Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake that I got about two months ago. Was in quarantine for about a month and a half. About a month. Now it's in this big, nice enclosure. And then we have another rattlesnake that's still in quarantine that's way bigger than that one. So I'm going to show you guys this rattlesnake and obviously Kevin the King Cobra. Let me just finish up filling up these totes and we'll be good to go. Oops. Hey, Western. Why are you always ready to eat? You're such a, such a curious little rattlesnake. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's see, Kevin's in the box. As simple as this, I take the box, I close the box, and just like that, the flick of a little latch, and I have myself a cock and cobra. Let me just get where you are. There you go. Okay, so just like that. <clears throat> Shh. Shh. Please. Shh. Shh. Doing a whole lot of this. Do this. Okay, let me just use this. We don't know how Kevin's acting today. And let me get the can right here. That's ready to go. Will's got the lid right there. Alright guys, I know you've been waiting for this. You've been very excited to see Kevin. It's been a while since you've seen him completely out of his cage. There we go. There we go, Kevin. The King Cobra. Look how beautiful he is. Getting larger and larger by the day. Look at that. Thick as a noodle. Big danger noodle. And he's beautiful. I can never get over his gold. Oh, relax. I can never get over his gold chevrons. Look at that. He loves Will so much. I'm kidding. He does not like Will at all. He hates Will. Look at that. That's so cool. Kevin the King Cobra. I love this animal so much. It's okay. Relax. Now, obviously, you would never ever handle a venomous reptile in this manner. I handle animals how I feel comfortable, and I would never recommend for anybody to do so like I do. Also, this is a king cobra that I've been working with for over a year now. So I know this animal, not saying he's predictable, but I've been working with reptiles for such a long time, it's fairly easy for me to read the body language of these animals, figuring out what their next move is. Look at that. Relax, where are you going? In between the legs, Mr. King Cobra. What a beautiful snake. And yes, I am keeping him out of the box for quite a bit because I want to show you this. Look how huge this King Cobra is. Look how long he is. Look how huge this King Cobra is. So awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to put Kevin inside this wonderful can over here, if you don't mind Mr. Kevin, huh? right into the water, nice and warm, lukewarm, look at this, going right underneath, he's loving it, it's a big hot tub, lukewarm, not too warm, although reptiles love heat, they do not like too much of it, alright Kevin, be good, stay right in there. There we go. And now we have a king cobra that's going to sit in there for about 30 to 40 minutes, soak up the water, hydrate. It's really good to hydrate your snakes at least once a month. Even if you don't keep venomous, it's always good to offer them water. And as you know, I'm here for them spicy meatballs. No, in reality, Kevin ate that little Burmese python. He made quick work of it digesting it versus, you know, the six to eight footers he's eaten in the past, which takes about a week and a half to digest. He digested that little burn with no problem, so there's been little spots of diarrhea and loveliness all around the tank. Will got most of it yesterday. There we go. But there's a nice uh, 
a nice a meat loaf in the back. Let me just uh, let me just uh, gently grab that sh schnitzel. There we go. Ooh, ooh, it's it's wet. I can feel it through the glove. You know that's a ooh, that's a spicy one. Look at that. Wearing glove. Oh, it's sticking to me. Mm, there we go. Ooh, that's a sp there's more. Oh man, there's more. It's, it's dripping, bro. It's dripping. Oh man. And then I take the little bit and I put it in there and then I, I close it up. Okay, okay. Whew. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> put it with the rest of them. Go, take it to the safe. <coughs> okay, so slide that glass right over there. Close the box up. This box is fantastic. If you were to work with venomous reptiles and you want to avoid interactions in any way or you want the safety for your, I would say, keepers that work at your facility, if you own a facility or sanctuary and you got venomous reptiles, a really good way to keep people safe from working with them are these lockdown boxes. It's the similar idea of a lockdown for a big cat or a bear. You have the main enclosure and then you have the separate little enclosure attached. They go in for food or they go in for comfort and then the gate comes out and locks them in there. So for this, it's a mini lockdown for King Cobra. And I can actually take the box, put it wherever I need to take it. So, it looks like we're good to go in here. I'm gonna slide the glass over there. Now, Kevin needs to still soak for about 30 more minutes. And I need to soak this Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I need to soak an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake? Well, one, hydration. Two, skin shed. So, this animal is having problems shedding. It actually has skin. She's looking around, she's like, you talking about me? Huh? She's a beautiful snake. The only problem is right behind her neck, there's a flake of skin sticking out that hasn't come off in any sheds. So we want to help remove that, and the way we're going to do that is the easy, natural way, putting her in lukewarm water, letting her sit in there, hydrate, and letting water get in between the skin. So, well, I'm going to open up that glass, and you know how... You know how spicy this rattlesnake is. Do you guys know Fred? My grandpa, he handled this rattlesnake once when I first got it. He knows it's spicy too. Look, look. Notice how when the glass slides back, even though the snake was already aware of our presence by seeing us with its eyes, when I pull the glass back, the heat pits start to kick in. This animal sees thermal images because it is a heat-seeking animal. It is a pit viper. So those two, look at this, zooming right on the head. So look at this, see those, that little hole right there? That's not a nostril, that's a heat pit. So you can see a warm bodied mammal walking throughout the forest floor at night and strike it down like a rat or a rabbit. Now I'm gonna gently use the snake hook to pull, oh look at that, look at that. Super curious rattlesnake, hasn't started rattling yet. Probably gonna start rattling pretty soon. Oh, 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 she doesn't like getting handled. I have not handled her much at all. And I'm taking my time, I'm going very slow, like you should with most, or all, and it's wrapped on this. Look at this. I've got to be very careful, because compared to an lapid, vipers are so much more faster when it comes to striking. Look at that. This is such a beautiful snake. This is my favorite species of rattlesnake. My second one has to be the Uricone rattlesnake. And the reason I just love Dynamax so much is because it's a Florida snake. I'm a Florida boy. And also, it's the large. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to do very slowly. Beautiful Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. I'm very happy with this animal. It's already taken down two almost full-grown rabbits, no problem. Oh, 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 let me get that down. Look at that. Beautiful snake. And what I want you to do is zoom in right here on the neck. You see this skin? There's a bunch of dry skin flaking off right here, but it's not completely coming off. That's one of the reasons I want to soak this animal. I am not going to move too suddenly. Like I said, heat seeking pits. I'm like a fireball right now. I'm a bunch of heat right in front of this animal. What's really cool is depending on the range they're found in, the coloration they have to adapt to that area to camouflage. So for example, this Eastern Diamondback, if you look towards the last third of its body, 
you could tell that this bloodline originated from a sandy area to match with that sandy terrain. It's got that beautiful beige sandy color. <laughs> Coming real close. Coming real close. Beautiful snake. And believe it or not, the eastern diamondback that's in quarantine right now, that's much, much bigger than this guy. It makes this look like a dwarf. But what's really cool, this is a female. The big rattler in quarantine is a male. So once that rattlesnake is out of quarantine, I will be pairing them up. Gonna go right into the water. Oh, oh, relax, relax. We can do it calmly. We can do it calmly. Look at that. Look at that beautiful rattle. Look at this. That rattle's fully formed. Amazing. Look at that. All made of keratin. The same material as your fingernails and your hair. That's what reptile scales are made out of. And the shed skin Watch. is what the beads itself are made out of. So I'm gonna. There we go. Right into the water. Will's gonna get that lid on. And she's going to be in there for about 30-40 minutes as well. And that's the beautiful Eastern Dimeback, which I haven't named, so comment below. What do you think I should name this Eastern Dimeback? Beautiful female. She's a little bit blonde. Don't say blondie. If I see blondie in the comment section, you guys are not creative. Okay. Oh, come over here. Not just was I taking the animal out to soak. Right behind there, there's a spicy meat ball. Oh, mamma mia. Ooh. Will, you want to grab it? No, I'm good. Okay, that's a real, that's a stinker, dude. That's a real. <laughs> you know Somebody why? Put... You know why? Why? It's because of what she ate. The rabbit? Yeah. Tricks of a kid's bitch. <laughs> so guys, when going to grab doo-doo from a Viper Day family member, like a rattlesnake, you want to be very careful when pulling out that poop because they shed their fangs. And not just do they shed them, sometimes when swallowing down a prey item, if the fang's loose enough, they swallow the fang, and then they poop it out. So, I would have to be very careful grabbing this, not to actually get pricked by a fang. Because, you know, they are hollow, they can still hold a little bit of venom, and you wouldn't want that in your system. It could badly affect you. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia. Got to use the the double drip. That means it's a big one. Oh no! It's sticking to the side. Oh no! Hey, Kevin. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Get a good look at him. He's just been soaking up all that water. He's such a beautiful animal. I really do love king cobras. They are. Definitely one of my favorite snake species. Let me just reach in. Right, we'll slowly take him out. Look at the coloration. Look at those chevrons. Those are the yellow bands you see along the body. Some king cobras have prominent chevrons. Some have faded chevrons. Some have pure white chevrons. The Malaysian has yellow chevrons. Beautiful snake. Look at him. What a beast. I'm gonna put him in the bank. Ooh, Kevin. He wanted a kiss, bro. <sighs> Alright, Kevin. There we go, buddy. Right back into his box. Or not. <laughs> Such a beautiful snake, Kevin. Staying in the box. Stay. Boxes that way. He's like, where's my spicy meatball? I put it right here. That way. You know where your box is? <laughs> He's checking out the place. He's like, it smells different. It doesn't smell like poop in here anymore. That's pretty weird. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna lock that up real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, Kevin. He's probably still hungry. That little Burmese python was nothing. But 
I do have a five plus foot Burmese python in the freezer, so in about a week, we're gonna get him some more food. Right, Kevin? All right, we're gonna leave him alone. Next, we got the Eastern Dimeback. Cage is all clean, put fresh water in there. Let me take the can, slide it over here so it's out of your way. Very careful. I don't want to get too frisky. Look at this, come here from the side. This is why you're always careful when opening up a container with a venomous reptile. Look where that snake's face just was. Right where the handles are. There we go. Beautiful dimeback rattlesnake, not a sneaky animal, just investigating the tub. It's not like this animal was... Hear that? The rattles are rattling on the side of the tub, but they're in the water, so they're not making much noise. This animal's not sneaky. It wasn't purposely trying to go after me or anything like that. It's just trying to get out of the tote. He just happened to have his head there. Look at the water. Look at that. Are you seeing this right now? Here's the wet rattle. Beautiful Eastern Dimeback Rattlesnake. Largest rattlesnake species on the planet. That's so cool. Look at that rattle, perfect. What a beautiful snake. Good stuff. The cages are cleaned. They are secured. I will see you guys on the next Chandler's Wildlife. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys think I should name my Eastern Dimeback. Remember, it's a female. She's got a blonde, sandy color to her. And she's just so beautiful. Kevin, he's back in the box. Okay. I will see you guys on the next Chandler's Wildlife. Stay beautiful. Be brave. Grow a mustache. Grow a mustache. Ooh. Gotta use the the double drip. That means it's a big one. Oh no, it's sticking to the side. Oh no. That's how you know you've got a healthy diamond back when the poop sticks to the side of the bowl. It's not going down. This is my toilet too. It's not even like a toilet that Will and I share. It's my own toilet. This sucks. <laughs> Let it fill up again and flush it. Best way to solve that problem. Can't see it now. Let's go.